And finally, on this International Women's Day, celebrating our budding entrepreneurs and the way they're changing the world. 19-year-old Camille Flores is the daughter of immigrants, a first-generation college student, and one of the state's youngest business owners, who says her new cafe in downtown Cranford is proof that you are in charge of making your dreams come true. Melissa Rose Cooper has her story. This one is super yummy. A key element Camille Flores aims to achieve with every item she serves inside her Cranford shop craft. My business is basically a healthy cafe, so it's like a twist on what um, we usually like, you know, we usually go to cafes and we usually eat a lot of like unhealthy stuff, high in fats, high in sugars, high in um, a lot of uh, just bad things for you. So I wanted to take like a twist on it and make it healthy, have like healthy, yummy alternatives to our communities. So we serve really yummy protein shakes that are full of vitamins and minerals. We serve teas that have um, herbs in it and it has aloe vera and it has just a lot of good stuff for you. It's a dream Flores knew she wanted to pursue during her first year of college. I was sitting in a business class and they were talking about entrepreneur, like entrepreneur, like, you know, adventures and stuff like that. And it said it can be very, very rewarding, uh, but it's just risky. Most people don't want to take that risk. And I was like, you know what? I'm young, I have nothing to lose. Why not? And with money she saved from working two jobs in December, Flores made her dream a reality. All of this at just 19 years old. She thanks her parents for giving her the courage to do so at such a young age. My parents both immigrated to the U.S. when they were 19 years old. They came with nothing. Um, and now I'm 19 and I'm living here and, yeah, first gen to go to college and first gen to, you know, be here in the U.S. I feel amazing. Uh, it's such a bless. It's a dream for us. Flores's father, Enrique, is overjoyed with pride at his daughter's success. He says he and her mother came to the U.S. for a better life and seeing their daughter work at the business they started when she was only 14 was proof Flores was destined for greatness. We're always uh, expecting for her to do something because we're already, she's been already in a lot of meetings with us. She's been getting all of the knowledge. She knows where we came from. She's seeing our struggles and she see how we surpass everything. So we was ready. We was ready. Actually was expecting for her to come to do, but also was a surprise because uh, no, she's 19, we're always thinking it's our baby, but no, nah, she's a really big girl and she really has a big dreams. Now he spends his time supporting Flores any way he can, watching her reach beyond the dream he once set out for himself. Our daughter is, is, is on her way, because what is for her is not only, it is big, it, the, what this country can provide you is huge. She is ready. Uh, of course, God first. and. Uh, Everything is going to start happening because what we're doing it is helping people. Uh, so this is the beginning for her. I expect her to go to places that we not even imagine. I feel like a lot of people like kind of view younger people as not able to do certain things. Like they see them as you're too young, you don't know, you don't have experience. And that's not true. People, young people have a lot of skills. Like we have, we're living in the future, you know what I mean? So I feel like if you have an idea why wait until you're 30, 40, 50, which there's nothing wrong with that. But if you have the opportunity, you have an idea that you feel like can pop off or something that can actually like make it, then why not? Go for it. Who cares? Who cares what people think? As for Flores, she's still attending college full time while making sure her business grows. She hopes her story can inspire others to push forward and achieve their goals too. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Melissa Rose Cooper.